we receive lump sum payments or one-time receipts, it's considered an asset. So the best example for this is if you win the lottery and you choose to receive it all in one lump sum, $10 million, that's not considered $10 million of income. It's considered $10 million of an asset to you that's in the bank and you're holding it. But if you choose to receive the lottery $1 million a year for 10 years, that would be considered income of a million dollars each year. So the key is if it's lump sum one time, it's just an asset because you receive the cash one time. It's not some sort of ongoing income. You take that asset, that lump sum receipt, and whether you put it in a savings account, a 401k, or under the mattress, that cash is now considered an asset to you because you could take that savings account and turn it into cash. We say, no one expects me to report inheritance or insurance claims I received as one-time income, but really we kind of don't because we're not going to ask, hey, did you receive any inheritance this year, we're going to say, do you have any cash in the bank? Because when you receive this one-time lump sum payment, you receive cash. And then what you do with it determines what type of asset it is. If you put in a bank, it's an asset. If you go and spend it on a trip to Mazatlan, it's gone. It's no longer counted as an asset. It's really what you do with that lump sum once you receive it that determines how as a property manager you'd verify it. But you're not out there looking saying, hey, did you receive any insurance claims this year? you're asking, hey, do you have any cash or any assets? So the HUD handbook lists items that are lump sum receipts. These include inheritance, insurance claims, lottery winnings, things like that. And so we don't count those in income. That's the key. They're not income. They're an asset. Those assets can be generated income, which we'll talk about in a second, but we count them as an asset.